Hi, my name is Michael Tunnell with You Get Download Manager, the Linux Download Manager, and Windows 2. This video is to show you how to use the scheduler that's built into You Get. This scheduler allows you to tell You Get when and when it can't download something. Um, you you can control it to do it every however you want. Let's say you you only can download a certain amount of time each day, or uh, you only want it to download. Uh, on during the uh, during the night while you're asleep or while you're at work or maybe you don't want to uh, have it downloading while someone else is in your and your family is doing something whatever many different reasons and I'm going to show you some examples of what you could do this video was prompted by a post on the forum from Acer Deville uh, requesting a better scheduling screen and he made some good points uh, mostly about the scheduler is a little confusing it's uh, not really intuitive how it works so at first glance it is a little uh, awkward and maybe even you know pushing away from you about even considering using it so this video is to show you how to use the you get scheduler and how to do it easily you know anyway so let's open you get if you have uh, Ubuntu, the global menu is where you'll find this, but uh, anything else, just click uh, top main menu, click edit and settings. Then on the next tab, click, click the scheduler tab. And as you can see, uh, mine is not enabled, so you just click the enable scheduler. And the green means it's on, the white means it's off. So let's say. Um, Well, hold on. First, uh, we'll go back to the the post that Acer said and uh, provided, and he said uh, I had to go through and double click each one of those blocks except for the four hours I can download. That's actually not correct. What he was saying is that he'd have to go in here and then turn everything off one by one. Which, if that was true, I admit that would be annoying. But that's not true, so not that bad. All you need to do is click click one that's that's green, hold your mouse down, and then slide it across. And uh, you can easy, you can quickly and easily turn off whatever you need to turn off. And let's say I'm gonna just get a flush uh, clean slate, so I'm gonna turn off everything. But one of the best things about you get is that it also uh, that you get scheduler also can detect what you're trying to do. So let's say uh, you wanted to turn these two back, uh, these back on, but you don't want to mess these up. So if you do that, it doesn't affect the ones that are already green because when you click a white, it detects you're turning it on, and if it's already on, it just leaves it on. But if you're clicking a green, it detects you're turning it off, and if it's already off, it leaves it off. But if it's not, it turns it off. So it auto detects what you're trying to do which is uh, actually very nice. <laughs> so anyway, let's say uh, he didn't, unfortunately he didn't say what hours, uh, which one he had. Um, yeah, he didn't give an hour, so I can't really give an example of what exactly he wanted, but um, he wanted the two drop downs which would limit it very much and we wanted something that would provide a lot more control even to the point of ridiculousness so that's what we did so let's say he can only download four hours at night on Wednesday to Thursday whatever, starting at 10 up to uh, 2 o'clock so I was going to grab this one Oh, I should also point out, it's using uh, the 24-hour clock, uh, which if you're not familiar with, all you need to do is take whatever time it is, uh, subtract 12 from it, and that's the time. So 22 tw uh, minus 12 is 10, so 10 o'clock p.m. And uh, also I should point out that the scheduler is uh, the time based here at the bottom is actually based on your local time of your computer. So whatever your local time is set up, is the time zone or whatever, it automatically detects that and, basic, and bases it on that. So as you can see, I set it up where there's four hours, uh, two, three, uh, ten to eleven, to twelve to one, one to two. 
So from 10 to 2, it's uh, going to let him download, otherwise it doesn't. Now let's say you're wanting to do it at night. So when you go to sleep, it downloads, but when you uh, when you when you wake up, it stops downloading to save you know processor speed, uh, cycles and stuff like that. So we're going to say 10 to 6. All you need to do is just select these. Now it has starting at 10 10 o'clock on Wednesday, ends at Thursday at 6, at 6 in the morning, and um, but that's not very practical. So let's say you want to have it every day, 10 to 6. You just click here and select all the blocks for 10 to 6, 10 to 11, and then midnight to 6. And once you have them all highlighted, you have every day, Monday to Sunday, 10 to 6. So let's also say you want to be more specific too. Let's say you want to have it where it it runs at 10 to 6, but also while you're at work, but not any other time. When you're at home, you want to use your computer for other things. So let's say uh, while you're at work, and let's say you go to work at 8, and you get off at 5. So we're going to grab here at 8, go to 17, uh, 1659, which is... Which is five, and then we're gonna, oops, just highlight all the containing blocks, and now from ten to six at night it downloads, from eight to five it downloads while you're at work, and that's it. Very simple, and uh, it. Is, is a lot more intuitive than it seems so it allows you a lot more control with a lot uh, of uh, t with a lot of control to the point of you know you can do it ridiculous things and I'm going to show you how ridiculous you could do let's say you don't really want to do a range let's say you want to do some weird times that only like every day it's different maybe you're a nurse I don't know so nurses have weird schedules so let's say you know this is their That's their schedule. <laughs> Whatever. Let's say it is. So you can control it to ridiculous amounts. So you can have, you know, this block, these blocks here set up, and uh, it makes it to a to a to where you can have a lot of control. And that's what we prefer. It is a little confusing at first, but hopefully this has been, uh, you know, eye-opening, and shows you how to use it a lot more simply. And let's say maybe you want to have some, like you know, these other weird blocks. Let's say you want to do these couple blocks on these couple days, and then maybe you want to have these blocks. It's up to you, really, however you want to do it. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, happy downloading.